over 100 years. So this is our only student that's been at Franklin High School. So, a pioneer. Does anybody know what a pioneer is? Anybody know what a pioneer is? Anybody? Anybody? Okay, guess what? I'm giving away gifts today. We can now go to move. For a fresh new fan basketball hood, what is a pioneer? First hand I see. What is a pioneer? Come on, come on, come on. All right, what's a pioneer? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your name? What's your name? Michael? All right, you got to talk to Michael for sure. Because this is an expensive hood that I'm giving you. Okay, it has to be the right. Here we go. So you're talking. Talk out loud. So let, let the councilman know up here. What is the pie in here? Here we go. Someone that likes Oh.
So, Pete, let me, uh, let me help you with that. You look like you're struggling. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. So, one of the other uh, great reasons uh, we're here today is, you know, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And this is a time where we, Pete, This is a time of year where we really think about and reflect on what we're grateful for. Um, all the gifts we've been given throughout the year, uh, and I don't mean like necessarily like physical gifts, but just the um, things that people do for each other. And we really take the time to acknowledge and reflect on what we are truly thankful for and grateful for. So one of those things today um, is we're gonna highlight uh, a gentleman who has been extremely generous this year. So I'm very honored to be uh, joined here by Councilman O, uh, our, one of our Philadelphia City Council members at large, uh, along with his assistant, Mr. Oliver, and a very generous man, Mr. Na, who um, has presented us, you, with a very substantial gift uh, this year. Um, so I'd like to call up the council. Some people sitting here are tremendous artists. Maybe they'll discover that in, in the 12th grade. Some people are great writers. Some people will be great filmmakers. Somebody will be a great business person. And other people, they're afraid, afraid to think about what they could be because they don't want to be hurt. They don't want to be embarrassed. And so they don't want to try. But we start with encouraging others. Being, being someone who admires others is very important. So if you have musical ability, I want to admire you because I don't. If you're a great athlete, I want to admire you because I'm not a great athlete. And if you're that great, I hope you succeed and make a lot of money. And if you're going to be a lawyer, a nurse, a doctor, a construction worker, a teacher, a principal, whatever it is you wish to be, don't hold back. Some people just need a violin, a guitar, or a piano. Some people need a book. And some people are great in science, technology, and a root of that is math. I'm going to talk a little bit about this gentleman standing here very quietly. He doesn't speak English. His name's Mr. Na. Mr. Na came from Korea, and he has a little business, and he has his business. But what he said to me six years ago is, I want to give something to the kids who go to school. And so every year, up until this year, he's donated $5,000. I contact the schools, we see what they need, we buy the items, and so up until last year he's given $25,000, actually $26,000 of school items. Sometimes it's a big, you know, monitor, sometimes it's computers, laptops, but your school, your school said we want calculators, not just calculators, this is $10,600 worth of high-tech calculators. 
for your class, for you. Not, maybe not everybody here likes math. Give it a try. Because you might want to design a car, be an engineer, fly an airplane, all of those type of things, you need math. And listen, I can't operate these things. I'll ask Mr. Nod just to step back. I can't operate them. They're too advanced for me. But you have got some really smart people here. And being as young as you are, you're on the cutting edge of technology. You're going to know how to manipulate these things and use them, interface with them, all those type of things. But the reason I insist on Mr. Not coming here, because he never wants to come. He's a shy gentleman. You don't want any spotlight. I tell him it's not to honor you. It's so the kids know that, that you care about them. The kids need to know that not everyone who they think cares about them will care about them, and not everyone who thinks don't care about them, doesn't. I want you to understand that Mr. Na, though he doesn't speak English, he works in a small business, he cares about your future and your success. He specifically said, I want to make a donation to kids in a public school that need some resources that are inner city kids. Um, with that, I want to encourage other small business people to make that $5,000 donation to their local school. This year it's a $10,600 donation. But if we can do that, if he can make those contributions, if other people encourage, you know, he is doing something that he feels is worthwhile in the business that he owns. And if you become that great musician, that great author, that great business person, or that great professional, you too can make that difference for people you don't know who you care about. The only question is, from this table and your teachers and your principals to you over the next four years, will you step up? for yourself, to be that person you want to be. I certainly hope so. Would you join me in thanking Mr. Na and your whole faculty and your principal? Well, look at, I'd like to present, as I do each time he does this, a citation from the Council of the City of Philadelphia with your principal and all the members who try to do their best for you the math teacher, the chair, will you come up here? Yes, because it, you know he's the one who made the request for the items. I'll ask the principal to stand right next to Mr. Knott. So, wonderful. What I'm going to do is let me make this presentation. The Council of the City of Philadelphia is pleased to recognize and thank Mr. Sam Knott for his great generosity and personal commitment to help students in Philadelphia public schools. Knowing the importance of education and having experienced hardships himself as an immigrant from South Korea, he wants to give back to Philadelphia. Well, it says a lot more than that. I'm just gonna give that much, make this presentation. Thank you very much, Mr. Nam. but who I am is a good day for you. God bless you, good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you, Councilor. Let's give a little big round of applause for Mr. Dodd, Councilor, with her very, very generous donation to our school.
So I just want to underscore something Councilman O said to you right there. The adults in this building, every single one of them, is here for you. We all have degrees, jobs, mortgages. Like we, we did our thing. Now it's, now it's our job to help you guys get where you want to be. And I just want you to know that. Not only do the people in this building care about you and love you, but there are strangers who have never met you that care about you too. And that's the kind of community that we need you guys to seek to build and continue in the future. So we have a saying here, once a pioneer, always a pioneer. And that's the kind of message we want to apply to like treating people with dignity and respect and looking out for other people. You don't just do that while you're here. You continue to do that and build upon it and serve more people whenever you can. So thank you uh, for being a good audience.